Yeah, now that's an intro. Friends, denizens of the internet, hello, welcome back to another exciting episode over here at Lost Time Gaming. I am Devo, we are jumping into another classic one-shot today in the uh, little mini-series I've been doing, Games You've Never Played. Now, this is Front Mission Gun Hazard. Now, this is definitely not like the game we checked out last week and also before we go any further i do want to apologize uh fatal frame 3 will be back next week i've had a lot of uh, a lot of crazy stuff going on in my life in the last few weeks and well long story short life comes at you fast but hopefully in the next week or so things should be a little more toned down so anyway now that that's over and done with let's load up our file here nope that's going back to the main menu <laughs> So, Front Mission Gun Hazard. If you know what Front Mission is, it's a... It's traditionally a tactics-based uh, kind of giant mech RPG where you move mechs on a tactical grid, kind of like um, Bahamut Lagoon, but with giant robots. Uh, this... This is not bad. Shockingly enough. So, what this is, this is a side-scrolling action game with RPG elements. If we look, we can go down here to equip our Wanzer, which is uh, what the giant robots are called in Fatal Frame Universe. Don't ask me why, I don't know. And you can see we're level 31. Uh, with, there's our little, uh, little Wanzer there, and little, I mean, he's like, you know, 100 feet tall. But we can equip all kinds of different, uh, different robots to ourselves. And that's our HP, let's fill that back up with a consumable inventory there. And our vernier unit is how we fly around. We got a shield we can use, our dash unit, and these are all upgradable. Like you see VU-50, I believe you start with VU-10. So we're on like our fifth rank of that. And primary weapon, I believe we're using a shotgun. And uh, again, much like Bahamut Lagoon, this is a fan translation. This game was never released in America, which again, I just don't know why. Would have People would have loved this game. And case in point is that, that people still make games almost exactly like this today. Like, there was a bunch that ripped this game off specifically that came to America, but they would pale to comparison to uh, this title. And then inside the robot is us, and we have our little armored suit, and a handgun, which is useless against giant robots, and we throw grenades, which is slightly less useless for giant robots. Then we have a partner we bring in a battle with us, and we have a whole list of people we can bring with us. Now, I accidentally blew up Axel's robot last time I was playing this, his Wanzer, so he's on foot, so we're not gonna take him. And I blew up Rook's Wanzer as well. Uh, Sakata, the Scott is fine. We actually need Sakata to progress past a certain threshold in the story as well. You can see we've got a demolitions expert. So these are all kind of partners you can take with us, but they all they all tend to get jacked up, which is you can tell why half of them don't have robot suits because they got blown up. Um, so we're just gonna take we're gonna take Anita because Anita flies around the little ship. Leave the flying ones to me. Good Anita, very good. And uh, much like ours, um, Anita can get upgrades as well. I believe yeah, Anita's using the best ones we got right now, but. So that's just a taste of, like, the customization options you have in this game. Now, if we just go to launch, we fill up everything before we go. Now, I make it a practice to not use consumable side weapons, uh, which means the you see the, the things with the fours next to it under my uh, HP there are armor plating and a punch. You can take, like, missiles, lasers, all kinds of cool stuff, but, like, they're consumable. You can run out of ammo. There's one thing I don't like. It's running out of ammo. And again, we don't we don't need to know the story. There there is a story, and it's about like global war and fighting against the wrong sides, and then fighting with the right sides. And... But they, there's just a lot of cool stuff going on in this game. For a side-scrolling uh, robot shooter from back in the day. Oh, I can't can't attack that guy. What's up with that? There we go. Fist. Give me fist. And by fist, I mean flaming jet punch. You just fly around and shoot stuff with your big, like, shotgun shells that are the size of a city block. And there's just so much going on on the screen that the game gets a massive slowdown. I can't imagine the 
because uh, I believe this is also another Super Famicom title. I can't believe the Super Famicom enjoyed playing this game. You can get items while you're out and about, but as you saw there, I already have that, so we don't need that. And you, you have big giant maps for these levels now. We're just kind of up here right now, but we can go down, I want to say. I, I think we can go down. The only, one of the main drawbacks of this game is that every once in a while you'll go to levels where uh, enemies will just infinitely spawn. So if you don't know where you're going, you can kind of run yourself into a case of just being too far in somewhere, not having enough healing items, and just taking too much damage. Because as you can see, up in the top left is our health, and we are we are taking a fair amount of damage. Mostly because I'm not bothering to shield stuff, but mostly because when you blow up a robot, it leaves like an explosive field, like fire and such, and obviously that's uh, that's bad for your giant robot's health, and it kind of voids the warranty, so you want to not do that. Kind of stay out of the fire. Pick up $5,000, nice. Alright, another $5,000. Nice. And then targeting system. And even with, like, the the equipment and consumable items, like the first aid kits and such, we actually have temporary combat improvements where, like, auto-aim, where you just kind of automatically lock on and shoot people. So we picked up another weapon, a bounce shot, which is, again, one of those kind of uh, consumable uh, ammo-based weapons that I was talking about before. But suffice to say, that this game is long, like, uh, very long. Oh, and there goes my companion. My companion's like, you know what, uh, this is a bad idea. It's like, yeah, it probably is. So I feel like the enemy soldiers on foot will be like, hey, you get back here, you. And just kind of shoot you with their pistols, even though it does, like, negligible damage. But as you can see... I've already taken quite a bit of damage. We were at HP 3 there a little minute ago, and we're at HP 1 now. Which means we've already lost two full uh, health bars, pretty much. Get some first aids there, that's always a bonus. Yeah, I remember I found this game when I was trying to get into the Front Mission series, because they, like uh, the game kind of showed up as, you know, Front Mission Gun Hazard, and if you know Japanese video games, uh, Gun Hazard is kind of a catch-all uh, term that will be in the title of a video game, you know, made entirely in Japan. Like there was a, I want to say there was a Resident Evil Gun Hazard at some point. Oh, I don't think we can go that way. Gotta go around the other side. Alright, that's annoying, so let's, let's use a consumable item. Hit me with a Repair 5. Yeah, go baby, go. Ooh, that was a full heal, all right. Yeah, you don't wanna, you don't wanna head out for a mission and not have enough healing items. Because some of these stages can be quite long, it, it, which is staggering because you gotta remind yourself this is like a Super Famicom, Super Nintendo, and like long levels weren't really a big thing. There was often, you know, sections where you get a loading screen or you gotta go fade to black and transition to a new stage. Oh no, I think I have to sneak up there. But to do that, we kinda have to drop our mech. So let's drop the mech. Eh. Oh, dropping the mech is hard. All right, let's just, is it down and jump? Down an A? You, you, you can get out, I just... Oh, what's the get out button? Oh, well, you know what it is? I'm, I'm dumb. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's select. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, it's, it's select. So we're gonna get up here. Basically go EVA in our little armored pilot suit here. And we're gonna huck grenades into this hole to blow this thing up. No, no, and you, <laughs> you see we get caught in our own grenade blast there. It's not great. Now the only problem is, is like, these doors are for robots. I don't think I can open this, to be honest with you. No, I can't. And you gotta be careful because there's constantly these little foot soldiers running around, and they can and will 
steal your robot, I believe, if you're not careful. Now, that's a curious thing, because I'm pretty sure that's where we're supposed to go, but we can't go that way. So I guess we'll head up here and see if that makes any more sense. Or wait, no, let's... Where does that lead? Well, that doesn't seem to lead anywhere. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. Let's go up. And the cool thing about the jump jets is that they kind of have a momentum. You start off slow and then gain speed the further you fly. That's kind of cool. Well, that's a dead end. And, oh, that isn't... Wait, didn't we come in that way? I want to say we came in that way, yeah. So let's go this way! Oh yeah, that's the way we can't go. So we do have to sneak around that. Oh, so I was right. That this is the way we need to go up in the... Oh, no, maybe the next tier up here. Where is it? I cleared a little space. Yeah, there we go. Hey. Go, baby, go! Now, is up or down the correct path is the question. Won't know until we get there, I suppose. Now, usually, when you EVA from your, your Wanzer, the, the game's pretty re respectable as far as not having uh, soldiers there just shooting it every second of the day as long. But that's only if you're, like, not near it. If you're near it, and you're just not paying attention, guys will just constantly just lob grenades directly at your robot. This is one of those things, like, if you gotta get out on foot, you wanna get out on foot as fast as possible. Yeah, blow up that door. Now we gotta race back to our robot before somebody steals it. I can't run downstairs, because that's not how the game works. Woo, jump over your pistol bullets like a boss. Come on, run! Pump those little eggs. I, I love going out in your little soldier mode here because it gives you a greater uh, appreciation for how huge your robot is. See, we made ourselves a little hole, so let's get up on in it. Oh, big chungo there, all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Little floor missiles? I don't know nothing about no floor missiles. Looks like we got another little climb out section here. No, stop shooting my robot. Stop it. That's not cool, man. Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, I didn't even see that guy up there. I wasn't paying attention. But this is... Now, this is pretty late in the game, I want to say, so... Not every, uh, every stage of this game is this intense or, uh, complex, I guess. Yeah, you know what, we're just gonna... Oh, we're just getting shot all the time. <laughs> that's not good. Yeah, that's not good enough. No, yeah, that wasn't really either. I'm gonna try and just make a break for it here. Getting shot with like giant robot sized artillery. <laughs> That's probably pretty safe. Oh, I'm just taking all the damage. Oh, there's nothing here. Ah, oh, that was. That, I thought that was the way to go, isn't it? This sure isn't where I pictured dying. Yeah, alright, so. There we go, I'm dead. <laughs> but that being said, that was a nice little look into Front Mission Gun Hazard. Again, a game you probably never played. Uh, maybe you've heard of it, but the likelihood of you actually playing it is low. Uh, that being said, I, I love this game. It's a, it's a fun, great time. And when I found this as a younger lad, um, I was just blown away. So that being said, that's all the time I have for this episode today. Thank you everybody so much for joining me on another exciting look into the world of games you've never played. That being said, if you enjoyed the video today, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.